All right, good morning. We, uh, this is the first video since uh, getting back from our maiden voyage. And uh, one of the things we did not have at the, uh, with the camper at the campground was the shower. Even though it was hooked up and the water, you know, the water was working and everything. We just didn't have, uh, I just didn't want to use it because of the wood and the wood that was up there. So what I'm doing now is putting my PVC board at the top of the shower, as you can see. And a uh, good deal of silicone back behind there so that it makes a good seal when when water splashes up there. Um, now, what I'm gonna be doing along the sides here is, there'll be uh, a thicker PVC board, probably a two and a half, that'll run from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. And then I'll start my tongue and groove up against that. So, um, you know, once I, you know, once I create a, uh, you know, a wet, a dry barrier and a wet barrier right there, um, then we'll be good to go with the shower. Um, <coughs> I'll pick up a box of the flooring and get that in so that I can silicone real good. Um, uh, I want to put the floor down before I put the tongue and groove so that the tongue and groove sits down on top of it. And then, of course, there'll be a, a, a baseboard that goes around. No big deal. Um, I'll have to take the toilet out to put the floor in because I, like I like the flooring to go underneath. You know, it's all good. So, so one, of the, uh, one, of the, one of the things I said I was going to definitely have ready for June was the shower. And it would have been ready anyway, but um, it's definitely going to be ready now because so, I'm working on it. So what I've done is I've cut my pieces, I've cut them to fit nice and snug, I back cut them so that they, so that the front, this right here, would rest on this. See, if you cut it straight, then you'd have a pretty large gap, so you back cut it a little bit and you get a pretty good all the way around, um, and then I'll use some, uh, some white uh, silicone and give it a nice bead all the way around so so what these uh what these braces are doing because that's silicone behind there it's silicone to the uh uh you know to the luan the plywood as you can see and uh, <clears throat> so these these braces are applying pressure to keep them you know up against there until that silicone sets up and dry so you know they're not in the way I'm gonna leave them for you know several probably a couple of days no big deal and then uh, I've got to go get as you can see these are the ones I used when I was building the tanks underneath I was using them as three-quarter inch spacers so they're all boogered up so I cut them up to use use as my braces but I need to go get some more of that so I can put my, you know, my trim board right here. And it's kind of hard to see, but it's it's perfect so that when when that board comes up, it'll rest, it'll ride right along that edge. And then of course we'll silicone it, and that'll give us a nice uh, a nice dry spot there. And I haven't decided if I'm going to go with uh, shower doors or just a shower curtain. Probably just a shower curtain. But we'll, we don't have to know about that right now. Um, the other thing I did when I got back the other night was uh, I was kind of bored. So I, I went ahead and hooked up my air conditioner. <coughs> now I know you see all these wires hanging out. But that's the, um, I've got the thermostat just temporarily hanging there. And I ran my 20 amp 12-2 wire, which is right there. Uh mounted the control box which is that metal box up there and i mounted the uh, heat strip tested everything everything works great 
when that air, I had it running all day yesterday, not running all day, but I had it on automatic, and it kept this trailer about 79 degrees. Now, mind you, I'm sitting out here right in the sun. I mean, there's nothing, there's no trees, no nothing. So, um, I feel pretty doggone good about that. It's, uh, it's going to cool this trailer off nice. It helps to have the spray foam. Yes, I don't have the, uh, I don't have the roof insulation in yet. However, I did start putting a few pieces in, as you can see. Um, just got them loosely fitting up in there right now. Um, I may double up on them. I don't know. It just depends on how I feel. But uh, pretty much you get the idea of what it looks like. So, I'm just piddling around doing a couple of little projects um, today. Um, you know, the sinks, uh, sinks there. Um, oh, as far as the air conditioner, so you see all the wires and everything. I still gotta, I gotta tighten those all up. The 12 volt and the, you know, the 12 two. I've got to tie that down, clean it all up, and figure out what's what. Now, these are wires that were provided by the trailer. In other words, they had pre-wired, you know, some wires to the, to the unit. They had also run some 12-2, but it was all terminated back there on the back, uh, on the front wall of my, uh, of my utility room. But uh, I decided to run my own stuff where I wanted it and everything, so I've just got to I've got to pull those wires out, no big deal. Here's the thermostat wire, no big deal. Um, I'm running my own thermostat wire, it's shielded. Um, it's here. Got one running for the AC and I got one running. Got to hook it up to the, to the heat down here. No big deal. All right, let me cut this one short and I'll, uh, I'll be back. Okay, I kind of wanted to uh, to show you a little bit of what I did today. Um, I didn't do much. My, my arm's been killing me, but I've done a couple of things. Um, I've been working on my uh, on our deck. Uh, I'm going to go Friday to the aluminum place and mess around with uh, uh, designing some sort of a, of a railing system to go around this. Um, I'll show you some pictures later on of, of a cabin, tent-like cabin that we can purchase. And, uh, but I still want to put, I still want to put a railing. Come on, Patriot. Come on, come on, come on, jump, you can do it, there you go, good, good boy, okay, went to Lowe's and got some, uh, some door trim lumber, um, I finished, uh, I finished trimming out the, uh, plywood around the door, it's all ready to go for this trim boards, I just, you can get to it um, and like I showed you earlier I've got my uh, PVC board at the top of the shower see this will all be watertight now and I still have to install a vent fan as soon as I find the one that I want I've not yet found the one that I want so that's why I haven't put one in but I will be putting a, uh, a vent in there which will you know help with the get the moisture out of here um, I mean I could put a I could put a vent like this but I it, yeah, I just don't want to where'd you go Patriot anyway 
So I have to uh, I have to trim the inside of that. I'll be building my own door, so um, but I want to put my tongue and groove on the outside around first, and then put my trim on top of that. I think it'll look a lot better um, from the inside. Looking, yeah, you, know, you can see it's all it's all furred out and everything, ready for uh, for some trim boards. And of course, I went to Lowe's and totally forgot to get my piece of PVC board for here, but uh, I will. No big deal. It's not going nowhere. Uh, I went over the air conditioner earlier. Um, and basically, I've just been doodling around with, uh, you know, different different little projects that need to be done. So. Tomorrow I'll finish up that uh, that bathroom door. Uh, I'm gonna go to I've got to go to Home Depot to purchase the flooring. Um, I want to put some I'm gonna do the flooring in the bathroom first. Uh, then I want to do my tongue and groove on the walls. Get my PVC board for my dry to wet barrier. Um, you know, just try to keep as much water out of the uh, off the floor as possible but when I when I put the flooring down I'm gonna be siliconing around the uh, the shower around the walls um, quite a bit I want to you know so if water does get on the floor you know as long as it gets wiped up pretty quick it should be okay you know anyway um, about it. All right, I'm gonna shut this video down for tonight, and uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. Starting to get a little room in my garage. I've been uh, been picking through my my scrap pile of uh, wood. Using I'm gonna use. I'll bet every bit of that'll get used. All right. Come on, Patriot girl, boy. Where you going inside? Look at those two guys. Hi, Brandy. Say hi, Paolo. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Good boy. Here's my brain, girl. Alright. Talk to you guys tomorrow. I just said goodbye, but I wanted to, uh, I wanted to point out that on uh, on Gina GinaVince.com, I've uh, I've built a page over here called our our RV and then what's inside. Okay, and what I'm doing is I've created um, I'm creating a list of everything we've utilized to build the RV so you know I've got it broken down by appliances HVAC uh, plumbing electrical shore power off-grid solar wind hydro generator and I'm putting links to the to the products that I've used um, uh, if I have a video which I will uh, links to the manuals uh, I'm going to do a review of each one once I've had a chance to use them for a while, um, which will include, you know, ease of installation and this sort of thing. Where I got it from, um, uh, let's see, some of these have, like my batteries, um, it talks about um, what they are, a link to, to the product page, um, and it also put on here when I purchase them um, which is going to be good for me plus you know the manuals and stuff like this so this is kind of a tool for myself also because it I'll, I'll have everything right at a fingers tip I'll be able to look up manuals and stuff like that if I need to um, so anyway just trying to organize this information a little 
a little better. Um, I'll also be uh, I'll also be including my uh, my my electric panel charts, my calculations, my wattage usage, and stuff like that, which. All of that information will be useful when I'm doing reviews and things like that of the different products. So, all right, I. Uh, so, if you haven't visited GinaVince.com, please do. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. The BAL X Chalk Tire Locking Chalk is designed for tandem axle travel trailers and fifth wheels. The X-Chalk provides added stabilization and prevents tire shifts by applying opposing force to your trailer's tires. As opposed to other chocks, the innovative design works with the tire's natural movement instead of against them. Your trailer's suspension system and tires are meant to be forgiving while traveling, and it's only to be expected that the same cushioning can be felt in the trailer while camping. That movement in the trailer can cause a soft feeling. The x chalk helps keep the tires from shifting while in use and provides a more stable foundation. Improved stability leads to a more enjoyable camping experience. After you have unhooked and leveled your trailer, simply position the chalk between the tires. Using the included ratchet wrench, crank the x chalk to the extended position with the four feet touching the tires. Continue adding force by cranking until the x chalk is firmly in place. After a day or so of camping, the x chalk could settle into the tires, so check again to see if you need to add more tension to maximize the x chalks potential. If you have a trailer with an extended wheel skirt that interferes with the operation of the ratchet wrench, turn the x chalk over and install as described. The x chalk will work fine in the upside down position. When you are done camping and before hooking the trailer to the tow vehicle, remove the x chalk by reversing the ratchet wrench. The x chalk fits tire spacing applications as narrow as 1 and 3 8 inch and extends to 10 inches. It is offered in a single pack with one handle, part number 28010, or a double pack containing two X chocks and one handle, part number 28012. For trailers that have the wide track tire spacing, we offer the extended fit X chock. This specialty X chock works on tire spacing up to 17 inches. Part number 28014 includes one chock and one handle. The X chock is proudly made in the USA and offered at fine RV dealers and retailers nationwide.